Today we're going to do some photo editing with a site called Pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. When you get to that website, we are going to click on Pixlr X, Quick and Easy Graphic Design. And the first thing we are going to do is open a picture from your Chromebook. So if you do not have any photos you have taken, stop right now. Take some pictures with your Chromebook. And I have a couple pictures that I have taken. So I'm going to click on that and click on open. I'm going to choose the web size and click apply. If your photo is sideways, we can click on crop and rotate. And you can use that rotate button. You can scroll out. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a layer that way I am not going to be messing with this photograph. So you can add an empty layer, an image, you can add a frame, text, you can add shapes. I'm just going to go with empty for now. And you'll see a layer is now above this. So if I'm working on this layer, it will not do anything to my photograph. This is nice because if I wanted to add things on the second layer, I can do that. However, I want to get rid of all of the background around this flower. So to do that, I'm going to click on the cutout button. And I'm going to use the magic cutout. And I'm going to remove the background around the flower. So as I start clicking, it knows that I want to keep the flower. So I'm going to click on the lasso cutout, and this will speed things up a little bit. So if I lasso around things, it will remove everything that I have outlined. So if you're doing very large areas and you don't need to worry about getting up close to all your little details, this is a great tool to choose. It also still gives you a little bit of control over what you are removing. If you wanted to do the draw cutout, this is where you can draw around things, draw along lines, and it will cut out. So you do have some different cutout tools. Try all of them, see which ones work best for what you're doing. Just remember you always have that undo button at the bottom, so if you accidentally cut something out you don't want, you can get it back. All right, so I'm getting in there nice and close, trying to get all of these little parts. I can zoom way in to get rid of some of these things. If you're not too worried about some of those little dots showing up, you can also just leave those. Now I've got my flower to the point where I have cut it out, and now I can do some things with the background. Don't forget you can change the size of your cutout tools and you can zoom in to make it really precise. So now at this point, I can add something behind my flower. I could add a photograph. So if I wanted to add a layer even behind this, I can drop the layer here and I could make the background here. So if I wanted to add another image, you can use their stock photos. You can find something off the internet. You can browse on your own as well. But what I'm going to do is add a picture from my computer. So I'm gonna click on browse and I have some artwork that I've taken photos of. So if I click open, it shows up behind my flower because it's on the layer underneath my flower. So I'm gonna rotate that. I can do some resizing. This is a painting. So this is a fun way to combine photography with drawing, painting, collage. Now I have a painted background. I could also play around with the um, different elements. I could add borders, shapes, stickers, there's overlay. So if I, some of these you have to pay for, sorry. But if I wanted to add some different designs, I could do that. So I 
encourage you to play around with those. I could add text if I wanted to turn this into something, card for somebody, I wanted to send an image to them. I could do some different backgrounds, plain colors if I wanted to do that. Adjust in filters. So if I click on this layer, make sure you're on a layer. You can do an auto adjustment where it will make things brighter, lighter. You can change to black and white. You can make things pop out. You can add effects. So again, these are things to play around with because you can always click that undo button if you do not like it. You can play around with the liquify tool, which swirls things. Make sure you clicked on the layer that you want to work on. So I've got, I've made my adjustments and then if I click here, it will liquefy parts of my picture. And because my flower is on a different layer, it will do nothing to my flower. Again, if you don't like something, click undo. There are even more effects if you would like to add some effects. And it gives you a nice preview before you click on it. So again, these are things you can play around with and decide if you like them or not. You can also add your own drawing to this. There are different tools if I wanted to add some shapes. Those can be filled in with different colors. You can do custom colors. And there are even more tools here. The retouch button, these are if you wanted to patch something. So let's say you wanted to cover up maybe this white part of the flower. What I can do is a clone stamp. I can click on that red color Mrs. Hayes just realized she was on the wrong layer. So if things are not working, check over here on your layer. So I'm clicking on the flower and I am doing a patch and I'm filling in. So if I click on this red area, it will start filling in those white areas and blending it in with the color around it. So this is a great tool if you're trying to get rid of something or cover something up. So again, if you don't like it, you go to that undo button. And if I wanted to use the patch tool, I can click on that color here and it will match it completely. Again, you can change your size depending on where you're working, but that will fill in that area on that petal. Make sure that you save your artwork, save it something that you know. I would save it to your name and class, save it as a JPEG, keep that quality high. And then you're going to click download and that will save it to your Chromebook. That way you are able to turn this in on Canvas. So again, save it as your name and class. Save. And then you can go ahead and close this. Happy creating!